a quick video on some whisper transmitting experiments. It started when David VK2DDI mentioned that he was getting an extremely strong signal from me on 40 meters, pretty much at any time of day or night. I'm 600 kilometers south of David, and I was using a Zactec whisper transmitter. I did a video previously reviewing this particular unit. David suggested I go to lower power. And so I have. I've connected an attenuator, so my output power is now just 100 microwatts. This is the arrangement I'm using. The Zactec transmitter and an Extor Set Society QRP attenuator. With all the switches in, that attenuates the 300 milliwatts going in down to around 100 microwatt. I left the transmitter transmitting continuously for over a week. During that time, I was spotted by more than 20 unique stations. And decoding wasn't just freak occurrences. As you can see, there are hundreds of them. The most common stations to decode my signal were VK2DDI and also VK7JJ. VK2TPM is also a common occurrence. There are certain times when only VK2DDI could decode my signal and other times when it was only VK7JJ. In terms of signal to noise ratios, in some cases the signals were quite strong. This would seem to indicate that I could go to a lower power, like 10 microwatts or even 1 microwatt, and still be spotted. So to conclude, not only can you do well with one watt or one milliwatt, but on whisper, even microwatts can span long distances. The challenge now is to find that other attenuator and go even lower.